Hey all, this is Chase. Today I'm going to be showing you uh, part two of PHP VMS um, tutorials. So you have your website installed in your free host, like right here. And today I'm going to be showing you how to access your admin center, pin and flight schedules, and your fleet. So right now you're going to want to log in up here. Your login credentials is either your email or your call sign, which can be found right here, and your password. Okay, so once you're logged in, you'll be greeted with the Pilot Center. You're not going to need that for right now. You're going to go up here to Admin Center. Once at Admin Center, this is like your dashboard. So this is where you'll be managing most of your virtual airline things. Once your virtual airline starts, you should see these numbers rise up. Okay, so today we're going to be focusing on airline operations. So I'm going to teach you how to add and edit a fleet. So as you see here, we have no aircraft added to our fleet yet, but let's go ahead and over here in the sidebar, under tasks, should be add an aircraft. Okay, so this is basically where you have to start Googling stuff, and it's pretty self-explanatory. So what you want to do is, let's say we want to put a, let's just go with the example here. Okay, so enter your aircraft ICAO code, then enter your aircraft's full name and the aircraft name type. Now you're going to want to put in a fake registration number for your airline, so I'm just going to make up N001747. Pretty good. Okay, so this is where you start Googling stuff, so I'm going to go into 747-400 on Google. Uh... Find specifications, and we'll give you all the specifications you're going to need for this admin panel over here. So right now we need their max passengers, max cargo, just leave these ones right here, range, weight, cruise, and your minimum rank to fly. So maximum passengers, find that. Okay, it's not on here, so we're going to Google it. It's right here, configured as 624 seats, so 624 max packs. Minimum, uh, maximum cargo. Just when you're going to do your cargo. Actually, I believe we can leave that blank, blank because it's for only cargo flights. Unless your airline's a cargo airline, you will need this. But I'll you try to do that after this in the comment section. So now we have that down. We need the range, weight, cruise, and your minimum rank to fly. So, let's see here. Okay. So. 11,190 miles for range. You can also put uh, nautical miles, which is NMI. Today we're going to stick with miles. Uh, maximum takeoff weight. Okay, so for here. It's 875,000 pounds. And you're going to want the cruise speed. 564 miles power. Okay, so now your airline has ranks. So if you want a certain rank to be only, be the only rank to fly this, for example, for my airline, only second, I mean, first officers can fly the CRJ 700. You can do the same thing for here. So, if you want like um, captains or only second officers or only first officers to fly this aircraft, you select it from right here, select the enable, click add aircraft. So, now your aircraft has been added to your aircraft list and you can base the schedule off of it now.
So let's say you want to do a, your your airline has a flight. So first, it's your airline's first flight number. So flight number one. You select your i uh, your airline, departure airport. Oh, before we do this, we want to do add and edit airports. So you already have Kennedy International. Say you want to have um, Dubai. Wait for it to load. You click hub if you want to. If it's your hub or no hub, you just leave it blank. Click add airport. You should add it. Now you can go back to your flight schedules and routes. You click add a schedule in the taskbar. Flight number one, departure airport uh, KJFK. Select it right here. The arrival airport OMDB. So you put in any departure time based on your time zone. So my time zone is. Eastern Standard Time, so I'd pit like 3.50 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And your arrival time, uh, it's about 11 hour flight. So, because, or I think it's 11 or either 13, but you can make up any number you want. But when your pilots pile pyreps, it might have difficulty with that. So, we're going to go ahead and put in 3, 2, 50. EST AM. All right. So once you put in the time, you put out the days of the week you want this flight to fly out. I'm gonna put Sunday, Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday. You can calculate the distance. We'll calculate that for you. Flight time: 11 hours. Uh, and the aircraft we want to use is your new Boeing 747. Um, you can leave this blank. But if you want um, the aircraft to fly at a certain flight level during the flight, you can enter that here. So 35,000 feet, flight type, passenger flight. This route's optional, but I'm just going to put it in KJFK to OMDB. This is your ticket price. So you can enter your ticket prices. This will help your uh, virtual airline financials. So $1. This is any notes or comments, and you click Enable. This will add the schedule to your virtual airline schedules. It's going to fly out every Sunday, Friday, and Saturday. And you just repeat this process with new aircraft and new schedules and new destinations and new airports and hubs. And this is basically what your virtual airlines operations are going to be based off of the airline operations tab uh, based on fleet, airports, and airlines and schedule. So right now, I think that to be the end of the tutorial. Uh, the next tutorial is going to be on how to skin your uh, website using CSS and change the colors. But I hope this helped a lot of you so far, and I hope and wish you all well in your virtual airline career and success. This is Chase, uh, wishing you good luck and goodbye. See you.